Today, I'm gonna to find out how much cash we can earn mining Monero for 24 hours on our Raspberry Pi, and I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised. This is a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B, which is a single board computer about the size of a credit card. And according to my subscribers, I'm basically a nerdy version of Ryan Reynolds. And together, we're gonna to get that bread. First, we have to outfit our Raspberry Pi and overclock it into oblivion. Currently, the recommended version of the Raspberry Pi OS is a 32-bit flavor of the Debian Linux operating system that includes Raspberry Pi desktop. Desktop. And this basically allows you to navigate your device using a traditional user interface. But to conserve memory and CPU resources for crypto mining, we're going to want to do two things. First, we're going to install a beta version of Raspbian that implements a 64-bit architecture. Now, if you're not a tech nerd like me, don't worry. At a high level, all this means is that the operating system is going to be able to grant more RAM memory to the application than if the OS was 32-bit, so this should improve performance. Second, we're going to use a light version of the operating system that doesn't include the graphical user interface. This will free up more resources, and since we'll be running the miner from the command line, we won't need the desktop component anyway. But will these enhancements be enough to earn us any crypto? Let's find out. First, we'll plug in our Raspberry Pi and boot it up. I know my desk is messy, deal with it. Then to receive any crypto we earn, we're gonna need to get our Monero wallet address, and I'm gonna use a crypto exchange called Kraken. So you might be wondering why we're mining Monero of all coins, and how we expect to make any money with such a low-powered computer. But I promise there is a method to my madness. See, Monero is a privacy coin with several interesting properties. The most relevant being that, unlike, say, Bitcoin, Monero must be mined with a traditional CPU computer and can't be efficiently mined with GPU use or ASICs like this Antminer USB stick. And this is because of the random X hashing algorithm that the network uses. So you can safely ignore the haters because in this case, high powered crypto miners actually have no advantage over us. Now we all know that there are thousands of meme coins out there and it can be hard to separate the wheat from the chaff and actually understand you know, which projects are valid and which are just fly by night operators. In my opinion, Monero is one of the sleeping giants in the cryptocurrency space. Essentially, it's a privacy coin. So unlike Bitcoin and Ethereum, which deploys transparent blockchains revealing every transaction ever made, Monero is anonymous by default. So the sender, receiver, and the amount of every single transaction are hidden. And this is pretty insane because it truly is 100% anonymous. Whereas Bitcoin is traceable in more ways than one. And as a funny aside, last year my Google Cloud platform got crypto jacked and the hacker gained access to my server, then began mining both Ethereum and Monero. And when I investigated the code that the hacker was using, I found both the Ethereum and the Monero wallet address that they were using to receive payments. But here's where it got interesting. See, when I tried to trace the addresses, I was able to explore the Ethereum blockchain and find the addresses and all the associated transactions for that user. But when I tried to do this with Monero, I was completely unable to do so. And Monero is part of a larger circle of crypto projects springing up in the privacy space. Alongside projects like Zcash and Dero, these will begin to create a privacy-centric ecosystem of crypto tools. And it's not hard to see the utility of these kinds of services. In fact, one of my friends who's very bullish on this privacy crypto space, back in 2020, he actually took out a $60,000 personal loan and invested it in a few of these coins. And at the peak, his portfolio grew to almost half a million dollars. And Monero has made such a splash that the IRS has placed a bounty to pay $625,000 to anyone who can crack the Monero protocol. Next, we're gonna install the open source mining software called XMRig. And this code will download all the dependencies and compile XMRig. Then we'll go ahead and kick off the miner. Now we can immediately see all four cores being pinned at 100%, which means that XMRig is running at full capacity. Now, if you wanted to take this to the next level and increase your profit margins, you could try to utilize free energy sources like solar, wind, or hydropower, which would ultimately increase your profit margins and earn you more passive income. Now, if we come over to MoneroVault.com, we can see that our worker is online and generating a hash rate. But did we earn any crypto? I earned five cents. 